All right guys, survival living here. So today I want to talk about water filtration, especially in an emergency situation. The fact is we try to be prepared for as much as possible, but when an emergency comes up, it's usually because we're not prepared. So I do a lot of outdoor survival training. I do a lot of backwoods trekking, camping. I'm always out here. One of the things I run into is drinkable water, potable water, something I can take from the ground and drink. Sometimes you can't have a campfire. It's been raining for the last five days. You can't boil and purify water. And you don't have a water filter with you. So this is a tried and true three-tier water filtration system. This is something you can actually make at camp. So the first thing you want to do is construct a tripod. All right. I show this I show tripod construction on my channel all the time. This is actually a requirement in our survival training course that I run down here in Florida. So a tripod, you can use it for cooking and also water filters. Now, you also need some type of fabric material whether it be three bandanas or t-shirts. All right. I always require one to have 3 foot by 3 foot square of cloth material, one for char cloth and next to make water filtration. So you need three pieces and some type of cordage. I use tarred bank line. It works great. I just go ahead and whip it all in place. That way it stays nice and secure. I don't have to worry about anything falling down. So let's go ahead and talk about our filtration system here. First up, our top, top one. This is reindeer moss. All right. Lichen. This is edible. This is something that's very available down here in Florida. You can use all kinds of different types of moss. You want something that tries to saturate you know it saturates itself with water when you pour water in you don't want to use a lot of pine needles because that water is just going to run off of it it's not going to go through this so when you get this set up you want to pack it and you just keep packing it as tight as you can and then it'll start drying out when you're not using it but pack this up as tight as you can because that's where your water is going to be going through you got to run it through this first next up our second tier we have charcoal this is charcoal that came from my campfire last night as you can see, there's some large chunks. I actually broke every single bit of it up, and what smaller pieces are in there are down in the bottom of it now. But it's just regular charcoal coming from your campfire. So you want to have fire available, also because you're gonna have to still boil this water. Next up, sand. You want some type of medium down at the bottom. Sand works the best, all right? If you're getting water from a river or a pond, you might luck out and have sand. This is Florida, we got a lot of sand. So these are your three mediums, lichen, charcoal, and sand. Now, when you go to use this, get all the sand off my hand. When you go to use this, you want to use a two-step system as far as your containers. You want one container that's got contaminated water and one container down below that does not have contaminated water. Now, when you go to use this, you want to remove the bottom container first and run water non-stop through the top and all these filters I'll run all the three mediums get all the loose debris everything to flush out so when you first start using it it's going to look black brown it's going to have all kind of different colors it, it's fun you're flushing out your system and once the system's flushed you have a cloudy looking color and that is the silt that comes from the sand silt when your container sits there settles on the bottom and all you have to do is pour it out, you got cleaner water. So let me go ahead and show you this right fast. Now you want to take your time. You don't want to flood your tears. You want to just add a little bit of water in the center. Take your time with it. Make sure everything's lining up center. And then, since I've already ran our water through this several times today, we got a catchment container down below. So as you can see, it's going through our lichen, going into our charcoal, and then going into our sand down below. And now we have our catchment pot down here. And we're keeping all of our fluid lines going dead center. It's just going from one tier to the next tier down to here now we're going to pull this out and we've got our cloudy water this is our cloudy water all right it's cloudy 
because of the silt and the sand. Let it stay. And now all that silt is going to go down to the bottom. Then you have cleaner water. And if you don't have the means of creating fire or a water filter, this is a level of protection better than not having any. At least you got charcoal, at least you got sand. You have three different types of medium that you're running your water through. It's going to give you some level of protection. It's not the end all be all best water filter out there, but this is a survival water filter. All right, so for more outdoor survival information, definitely check out our channel, Survival Living. There we cover outdoor survival, camping. We also cover prepping. Prepping is one of our biggest things. Having your body prepared and also having your stockpiles prepared. Everything from water filtration to solar, the whole nine yards, we try to cover as much as possible. The more you're prepared, the easier the transition is when disaster happens. All right, guys, speak to you all later.